Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. We're going to take a look at this one here. Final binge diagnosis update. Going back on medication, I might be suffering from PTSD. A vlog. <sighs> Can we check Dr. Lynn already? <laughs> you we think? need to start doing the bingo during Look at the... this. Look at the thumbnail here. Where's the... Th oh. oh, she's making the ew face. Alright, let's make sure we're sped up right off the bat here. Normal, 1.25. Fully capable of jumping to 1.5. <laughs> Most likely. Hello, welcome to a new vlog. So I am mid-makeup. I have my second session today of therapy. Um, I, I woke up really emotional because of that, because I already know, like... Could you imagine just knowing you're going to therapy so you wake up emotional? She's having anxiety. A little anxiety? Therapy is emotional, especially when I go to therapy. Especially. I saw on Twitter someone posted a picture of the beginning of the year mm -hmm. to now, and she has done nothing in her journey to weight loss. She has done nothing but gain about 10 pounds. I'm sure. I mean, I've never been in anyone else's therapy appointment, but I'm sure it's emotional for them as well. But um, just sharing my experience. Hi. Every time I talk about therapy or it's my therapy day, like Birdie is always back here like a little parrot. Why is there... Like a line in your lipstick. Do you see it? Where? Right there. It just kind of goes at a 90 degree angle up then over. And maybe it's just the lighting. Hi. Nope. That's that's the lipstick. Um, I just yeah, know like, that, like she tried to overline her lips, but didn't do it right. Therapy appointments get very emotional and I cry a lot. I still do my makeup because I don't know. When you go to doctor's appointments or any sort of appointment, like any sort of appointment, I just feel like you need to look you know put together like you need to i don't know it's weird i don't know i'm also wearing my little hey baby don't you, my little earrings that is a side braid oh my god can you guys see those look because i'm wearing a side braid today those are so corny see what i did there <laughs> so i'm gonna Wait, i thought she's super allergic to the cat now oh uh, yeah the cat can be right by her face apparently she's not that allergic oh okay finished doing my makeup um i'm about to do my mascara which is going to change my whole look because mascara i swear if there's one item of makeup that I would keep forever, it would be mascara or probably foundation, but probably mascara or both. <laughs> hello, hello. So it has been a few hours since you guys last saw me. I did have some really cute lipstick on. Looks like all the makeup has been cried off. Not really. Doesn't look like that at all. It literally has like a cat. <laughs> um, but I just finished my second therapy. It literally has a cat. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's cute. I really want to make it a priority, unless I forget, or I'm busy or something, to just like talk about it real quick right after it happens. Um, it is online, like through telehealth. Um, it's because that's the only way that he actually does it. So it's not because I like chose that. It's just because that's how he does it, which is totally fine. I personally love this therapist. Um, so this appointment actually... Well, it's a guy, so it's not going to last I, that I long. I feel like this therapist is sketch. This is the guy who doesn't take insurance and she can only pay him with her own money. And I feel like he's gonna just give her whatever diagnosis she asks for because she's paying for it. Here's my cash He out. won't even meet her in real life. Yeah, she probably Venmos him the money. He doesn't meet in real life. He just does a little video chat. I don't know how that stuff that works. It seems very sketch to me. We talked a lot about, do and I have no been insurance. Meeting? Yeah, What's really it's my true problems? And what can we do to help with that? So I don't. I do not binge. Um, therapist said so. I say so. You I paid him to tell you what you wanted to hear, honey. If the therapist did say you binge, do you think she would say that he said that? No, she would pick a different therapist you until she got one that told her what she needed to get her surgery. Mm. Have had issues, and I was very vocalized with this about this, very honest about this. In 2019, I had binging problems. I don't eat that way anymore. I don't. Wait, I thought you never did. A, a few weeks ago, you were just explaining to us how you never, it's ever, a ever food did that. Eating addiction. Yeah, it was an addiction. I have that same Weird. mind frame around food anymore. And you were paying uh, a therapist to give you that that diagnosis then because you wanted an excuse for your bad eating habits. Well, it's not just for the bad eating habits, and it's an excuse that uh, she doesn't need to wait a year for weight loss surgery. Well, yeah, that's what it is now. Um, but I think this topic is just safer off of my channel because I know a lot of people have different thoughts about it. And 
Okay, so it's on the channel. It's off the channel. It's on the channel. It's mm -hmm. off the channel. And it's just safer if I don't talk about it. But I am not a binge eater. Um, I do not have binge eating disorder. People will tell me why I'm wrong. Insert supercut here of the binge monster. Yeah, and right. <laughs> the, the binge monster and what I ate in a day, bad eating, binge, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> and obviously, it's taken some time to realize the that because with someone my size. I mean, I, I overeat, obviously. I mean, you don't become this size by just, like, kind of overeating, you know. That's not how it works. Hey, you, you, no, that's not how it works. Honey. You gained weight in your weight loss surgery prep. That's Anyways, so we talked um, about, like, why am I this size? What is my issues with food? How do I have a better relationship with food? And it's, it's, it's I, I turn to food for comfort. It's that simple. Um, if I'm feeling any sort of negative. You needed a therapist to tell you that? But you're not going over the fact that you don't eat based on signals from your brain. It's not comfort. You eat based on emotions. Right. She feels a little uncomfortable. She doesn't just want to sit in discomfort. She wants to eat. I want to eat because while I'm eating, I do not feel those negative emotions at all. So I love this therapist because something I've never had before was um, someone explaining to me, like the most popular emotions popular that's for the lack of a better uh you said term the most used emotions that humans feel um on a day, -day the most used emotions common she, she meant common yeah basis and where do we feel them in our body like where's our physical symptoms of them what is our emotional symptoms of them etc etc so they want me to journal which i love doing journal down jot down times where Right before a moment where I want to turn to food for comfort, exactly what am I feeling? What are the emotions? Where do I feel them in my body? Uh, how do I feel them mentally? Um, what is the scenario? Why am I also feeling these ways? And I think it's going to help me a lot. Um, this was a very educational um, therapy session, and I absolutely loved it. Like, I was dreading therapy at first, and I was even super honest with him. I was like, yeah, I was a thumbnail. And I absolutely loved it. Like, I was dreading therapy at first, and I was even. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. Oh, a cute little thumbnail. Cutie Lynn. Yeah, that'll work. I'm super honest with him. I was like, I was dreading therapy and everything about it. But now that I've been to only two sessions, I, I think I'm looking forward to the third. It's already diagnosed her. Or undiagnosed her. With uh, her previous I diagnosis. I don't think that's how therapy works. It, it works when you pay. Because before this session I, you guys did not see this but i had massive anxiety it wasn't about therapy at, as a whole partially but it was just about everything everything felt scary um i have been suffering so bad and i i need to go back on medicine that is why i scheduled um a psychiatrist appointment because i m the medicine i was taking it just wasn't working anymore so um i was told to stop taking it so i did stop taking it and now so when did she stop taking it? Was it this past one? Because she hasn't talked about taking medicine in a long time. No, she hasn't talked about taking medicine in a very is, long time. It's just, it's it's not good, obviously. So I am going to be put back on medicine. I am going to feel so relieved when that happens. Uh, but my appointment's not for another, like, two weeks. The soonest I could be seen, which is fine. So until then, I'm really going to take advantage of these next few um, therapy sessions just to understand my emotions more. And why do I feel the need to turn to food to comfort those emotions? Food. Why did you wait till you were in your 30s to do this? That she's never once considered that she's eating over emotions. And she's in her 30s. It's, I, I, it's a brand new revelation. I eat when I'm emotional. This is, uh, who would have ever guessed? This is just preposterous from the top down. <laughs> and I don't know, I feel really good. And we want to talk more about like PTSD uh, because of the things that I've Because he'll diagnose past, me like, with that too. And then I can have that for my mm -hmm. official diagnosis and that'll be Trauma. great. I can use that for an excuse for everything. Childhood. I have been told by almost every single therapist I've had that I show a lot of signs of PTSD. And uh -huh. That's a topic that never, uh, never is easy. I, I don't even like talking about it now. It gives me like a lot of like unwanted feelings, but that is, um, that appointment. It went really well. Of course it's hard. It's on a walk in the park, but it's going to be worth it in the end. It only works if you work it, but are you actually going to stick to it? Or are we about to get into food right here? So Feline is currently cooking dinner. So if you hear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
sizzling manizzling. That's what. Did check she off. just say manizzle? Didn't that lady get fired for saying that? Can we check off salad is cringe? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> We're doing like an Easter moment, okay? Where we both got each other some stuff. It's like an adult Easter basket without the basket. I just walked out for my appointment and look. Look at the goodies! Oh, it really is like buying I'm for such a, a spoiled brat. Look at me. So, I really needed a, a little fish lamp. It's like buying for a 10 year old. Some socks, some pens. Uh, oh, is this a, a phone charger? An eye walk? Well, you don't walk. Babe! Babe, oh it's gosh, a Lego so burb. Wait a minute. I'm going to look at all this and then I'll show you guys what she got me and what I got her. Okay, oh, so I opened everything. I have to show you. This is so sweet of her. She got me this calligraphy pen set, which this is what was in it. It's a book that you can obviously write in. And then it comes with the pen. these writing things? And the ink. Like, this is so cool. Ink? And then these socks. We have avocado. We have peach. We have watermelon. We have banana. But even her socks are food related. I, mean, I would like pineapple socks. We have a lemon and strawberry, so cute. And then look at these bookmarkers. These are bookmarkers. Oh like a that ain't cute, I don't know what it is. I've been really- Oh, oh my God. God, it's a fidget spinner. I need one of these for my ADHD. Wanting one of these thingies because I suffer with expiration, you guys know. What? <laughs> She's suffering. Click it, she's suffering. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't even buy these for my 10 year old. And I really want to keep my fingers busy. And oh, yeah, and you're definitely she gonna, got me one. She's going to drop it on the <laughs> so floor sweet. like her last oh, fidget toy and we'll never see it again. Oh, God. Gone then she got me these stress balls. <laughs> like, oh my God, I had to open one instantly. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to edit that out. Like, look how uh, cute. It's like cute, funny, and silly. Oh the, my god, I'm five. Yeah, I really think that they're doing some kind of weird age play sex thing. The infantilizing so thing strange. is very... Uh, you can't be stressed squeezing on one of those, I like, tell you that. Like, and then she got me this phone charger. Chantel is Salad's mom, Where's, but Wifey's her mom. Yeah. Like, portable? But you don't leave. Where, where are you that you're not within walking distance of your charger? That's a good question. It's for when she can't get up I think that is so cool. So I'm excited to give that a try. Obviously, a Lego moment. Okay, hold on. That's a Lego bunny, and I need it. I'm obsessed with Legos. Beb, and it's funny, because I almost... Beb, I need that Lego bunny. I almost got her this. Beb, I need close, that, so that Lego bunny. And I've been hounding her. I really want a fish. I don't know why. So, I that Lego obviously, bunny. I can't get a fish. What do you mean, obviously? Why can't you get a fish? If there's why can't I get a Lego bunny? If there's any pet that you are qualified to take care of, it's a fish. So, uh, she got me this, like fake fish tank when i hook it up and stuff i will definitely show you guys i'm so excited i have three cute little i don't fish. think she look would take that. care of a fish i think feline doesn't want her to have fish tank because feline would be the one that has to uh, clean the fish tank last but not least these gorgeous flowers and skip now i'm gonna set up skip. i got her a lego because she does like legos i got her into them she loves the strange planet why can't she like, show her own gifts instagram so i got her the book she needed a new perfume so i got her and she needed more perfume guess like seductive. she doesn't have enough she loves hats, so I got her one of those with a little ghosty. It's weird how they were both set up the same way. Um, she loves face masks, skincare, et cetera, et cetera. So I got her a ton of those, and she does. And oh, socks. socks. You guys got each other the same thing. That's Love super socks. cute. So that is. That is like the same thing. I got her some of them. I really tried to think of her and what face she socks. loves. So I got socks her some with faces on them. She must have 27 pairs of socks with faces on them. Amber is an expert at beating an idea to death coconut milk um scrub and some brown sugar scrub <laughs> and last but not least she loves like the balloon dog which so do i it's that super, is cute but the, it's it's not the rabbit lego cute, and i need so it i found that on amazon skip skip you like <laughs> I love you. What do you think of that? I am so obsessed. Why are you always covering So I don't know how that hair? smells. So we gotta I try it out. Somebody's giving the dog attention. Bomb. You love it. I did. Okay, I just I do not care about this whole segment. I'm going to put this together as soon as I'm done. Like 
is the output in this video. Uh, here's some maybe some actual content. Oh wow, those actually come out of her head. I thought they were like surgically <laughs> implanted. Just like hung out, spent some time together. Um, I do want to end this video. I know it was a lackluster. Today just consisted of massive therapy. Why does she insist on this downward up angle? This does not because look she's flattering. just setting the camera her phone on the desk oh no the camera's gone the camera's been yeah it's just like, she's just propping she's probably got a soda can with the phone leaned up against it and that's about yeah, as much as she can like, do really focusing in on emotions <laughs> i really need to do that so yes because you have not talked about your emotions on here no never oh, that's how i spent my day but i do want to do peel box i, just, what I, mean I think by i just oh, heard the peel can. box i think i just heard the can <laughs> i really need to do that so um that's how i spent my day <laughs> Day, but I do want to do peel box. What I mean by that's how I spent my day is because I journaled like quite a few of my emotions today. And like, oh, why am I journaling? Oh, so we're doing peel box. We're doing peel box. So anyways, you know what I could get in the peel box? box. So it's peel box time. I like a bunny. You think? I think I could. If you, you put one in there for me, I could definitely get one. Hmm. I'd I think, keep waiting. I think you could go to the peel box and put one in there for me. <laughs> I'd keep waiting. So first thing we have this package. <laughs> so we have a little bat. Oh. For the package that you already opened. She already opened all of them lately. It's very strange. The package. So we and have then she acts surprised. <gasps> what is in here? Oh, I don't know because I already opened it. Oh, for some reason I thought it was a bag in here. What is this? We just saw that it was opened. It came with a note. So let me read that. So this is actually from someone's business called the LM Collection. Um, I don't know if they want me to share the reason why they have this collection because it is personal, but I will say... It's an amazing cause. Well, okay, so if they much. have a business and they have a collection based around a cause, which I'm sure would be on the website of the business, it's probably not private. Yana for um, opening up to me. Oh my God, this is stunning. 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 Dainty gold heart. Another this is heart like necklace right that I'm alley. never oh going God, to wear. I have a beautiful heart necklace for my wife and I never wear it. Wow. Interesting, man. The LM Collection. Please, you guys, check out this website. Thank you so much, Kiana. Here we have another package. Ooh, looks like we have a book. Uh, oh, book. Ooh, House of Leaves by Mark. I don't want to pronounce this wrong. Didn't she already have this book? Yes, she has this book. Uh, Mark Z. Daniel List. Let me do this right. Daniel Left. Uh, Wait a minute. That's a used book. It has germs on it. Uh huh. I've Amber, you're touching a used book. Yes, you did not I have. read that. So I've actually read this. I have no idea how to pronounce it. I've actually read this. No, you didn't. That's what she said. Oh. She just said. She absolutely didn't. This no, is a she complicated didn't. book. Yeah, she didn't read this book. And apparently, there's like. 10 different ways to read this book. Yeah, you have to read it like 10 times to know what happened. Yeah, she does not. She did not read this book. There's absolutely no way in hell I would bet money she did not read this. Oh, whoever sent this to me, which um, somebody I should didn't get a note or anything, I'm going to pass this on ask her what to it's someone about. else. Someone who loves reading and who will enjoy it as much as I did. But thank you to the person who sent this to me. So if you guys want to send me any. No. No. Me? Lego bunnies. Yes, this right here. <laughs> And I have House of Leaves on my bookshelf right there, so I don't even think about that one. <laughs> She's going to pass it on because it's dirty. It's your dirty book that you actually read. Thing. <laughs> Messing up my bookshelf with all my perfectly she unopened had books. had that book. That was yeah, probably her book. perfectly unopened. Was... No, that book was creased and bent and the, the binding was used. You could tell that book had been read. None of her Here books look like that. Box. None of them even have a crease on. in the bind. No. Amazing. Okay, next is voice memos, where I am being interviewed by you. These are the two dumbest segments back to back. Get rid of the font. Okay, so let's so see. She got rid of it for a couple days, and then so I was happy about it. Today. So she put it back. Hey, Amber. So we're gonna ask another question. It's Margaret again. Hi, it's Sarah again, Amber. <laughs> and we wanted to know. Just wondering, um, what is your favorite movie of all time? Okay, love you. Bye. Hi. It's gonna be some kids' movie watch. Guys, so my favorite movie goofy. of all time. Um, I used to say Forrest Gump. That used to be a big one for me. But I'm gonna go with a simple favor. Hello, Amber. Did you go to Comic Con this year? Love you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Amber, did you go outside this year? No, no I did not. But thank you so much for the question. I think the question everybody wants to know is, what happened to the bench monster? <laughs> <laughs> You know she screens these before she picks them. She does not just randomly hope. play. She picks the ones she wants. So she wanted to ask this? I don't know. That looks like a surprised face right there. Like she is not happy with that question. I think she had to put in a hate question because all she's been putting in are nice questions and no one believes that that's all she gets. But look at that face. That does not look happy. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes on bakes. What? Yikes in a way. Uh, uh. Oh, she just, just skipped That's it. it. <laughs> just skip it and roll my eyes and say something cringe. Something that she stole from Alex's shook. Oh, cute. I'm just wondering if you have like a weird habit or quirk that you can only act out when you're by yourself, not even in front of Celine or your family or anybody, that you can only do when you're by yourself. Because I know I have my quirks, so... Yeah, I was just wondering that. Love you. Bye-bye. Aw, I love you. Thank you for the question. Oh, my gosh. It's so hard because the majority of, like, my weird little habits and my quirks, um, Feline sees them and I present them in front of her. Um, oh gosh, let me think. I legit cannot think of anything. Um, because it's like, you ask me, like, something I do by myself, like, not in front of Feline. And I'm pretty, like, myself in front of her, so I don't even have an answer. Oh, my God. I feel like that's such a bad answer. I'm sorry. It Anyways, is. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I still feel bad that I can't think of a okay that's it we're done lame all right guys thank you for coming and hanging out do all the stuff youtube likes to comment no we still have 40 seconds left uh, seen me do because it's like maybe oh, should do another um so i feel like i want to answer like i have her answer that um in a future video because okay all right guys thank you for coming and hanging <laughs> out please leave a like comment all that stuff we'll see you all in the next one i hope you enjoyed this as much as we did Yay. goodbye Bye.